Okay, so good afternoon everyone. I welcome you back to my YouTube channel and presenting before this tutorial is Ampere Clement. And to those of you that are new to this channel, just make sure that you subscribe, you also hit the like button and don't forget to share. So in physics, I have been teaching on Hooke's law and I have a very important practice question. Um, it's, a, it's, it's very important, make sure that you know something about uh, such practical questions, especially to those of you that are using cell physics, this is a very important question to know. So this question they're simply saying without even much, uh, wasting much time, they're saying a light spring of an extended length of 14.2 centimeter is suspended vertically. So in a vertical uh, direction from a fixed point as illustrated below. A mass of weight 3.8 newtons is hung from the end of the spring as shown above the length of the spring is now 16.3. Okay, so when that object was now hung to the spring, we have been taught that there was an extension. So the way to go about this question is very simple, but then let me just Get to my other table okay so i have the solution so i'm going to first of all write my data it's very important in physics okay so the first thing that we have been taught we have been taught that we have a certain weight of this is 3.8 newtons then we have been told that for the first spring we had for the first spring we had a displacement of which was our initial, which was 14.2 centimeters. Okay, then of course, we, are taught, we have been told that there was a certain weight of 3.8 Newton, which was hung. So that means that we are going to experience a certain extension in the vertical, in the, in the, in the direction of the weight that is downwards. And that, were, and that is going to be called our extension too. And we have been told that it was 16.3 centimeter. Okay. Then we have been told that another one was applied. They've not specifically told us which one. But we have been told that after that one was applied, our extension extended to this is just 17.8 centimeters and of course by now you should know that centimeters are not the units that we use in physics the first question is saying show that the spring constant is 1.8 newton per centimeter okay 1.8 newton per centimeter we know that according to Hooke's law the force is directly proportional to the displacement okay but then we know that since we have this relationship being shared this simply means that this F is is, is going to equal X but we know that with a coefficient of some constant K in front to simply show that it was directly proportional so this constant k is what they want us to calculate. It shows, it, 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 is, it is what shows how, how effective the extension is going to be in the spring, okay? It is a property in the spring that simply tells us how the spring is going to behave when we add a certain load, okay? But then we know that 
if we cancel over x over x we we'll discover that our k is going to equal to f over x so k is going to equal to, what is the word it was 3.8 newtons what is our extension we are, the question is saying show that the spring constant is 1.8 so we are going to consider the so x final we are going to consider from where we started from which is so from from the second length extension before another object was added minus the first extension and of course it's going to be 16 point three centimeters minus and of course we started from the initial of 14.2 so what are we going to get so this is going to be 16.3 minus 14.2 we are going to get a 2.1 centimeters so if you put your 2.1 down here centimeters and you do your calculations so which is 3.8 divided by our answer and we are going to find 1.8 newton per centimeter so that's just how you go about the first question it's very simple we get to the second the same we calculate the change in the gravitational potential energy of the mass on the spring okay so they want us to calculate the change in the gravitational potential energy of the mass on the spring from 16.3 centimeters of length to 17.8 centimeters so this one is very very simple because we know that gravitational 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 potential energy energy is equal to m g h but then we have been told that from some point 16.3 to some point 17.8 so we are going to consider the change in h like that so from here we know that our h final is going to equal to x3 minus x1 x2 okay so this is going to be okay we have 17.8 minus 16 point 3 and our answer our answer is going to be 17.8 minus 16.3 we have 1.5 centimeters which is which is equivalent to 1.5 multiplied by 10 to the power negative 2 meters this is our length so from here we're going to do our substitution now remember that this part is the mg so it is the weight so we can replace it with 3.8 you must be able to reason in those directions for you to understand your physics well physics is very interesting so if we multiply this we say 3.8 multiplied by 1.5 multiplied by 10 to the power negative 2 we are going to get a 0 0.05 7 joules as simple as that okay so this was for the B question calculate the change in the gravitational potential energy that was for the first 
big question, which which was star one. Let's do the second star. They are saying, show that the change in the elastic potential energy of the spring is 0 0.077 joules. Okay, so the elastic potential energy. So elastic potential energy Elastic potential energy, which is simply energy found in elasticity objects, springs, etc. It is equal to 1 over 2, some constant k, the change in x to the power 2. So by now you know how to derive such formulas. Now, let me try to write some data here. Okay, so this is our data. Now, remember that when you're using this formula or any formula in physics, you will need to put everything in their standard um, units. So we know that our K constant was 1.8 centimeters, so in meters, K constant is going to become 180 Newton per meter. That you know. You must know that. Okay. Then, what we're going to do, because we want to calculate the elastic potential energy, we have, we have our um, X1 to be 14, Our x1 is 14.2, our x2 is, this is 16.3 centimeters, 16.3 centimeters, and of course, we are going to have x3 equal to, this is 17.8 centimeters. So for you to calculate this, you, are, you, you subtract uh, x2 from x1, x3 from x1. Okay, you calculate all the two spring constants from the initial spring constant. So we're going to say x, x2, let's say x2 is equal to x2 final. Okay, x2 final. Okay, let me, let me do this. So we're going to have 1 over 2, k, then x2 final to the power 2 minus x1 to the power 2, like that. Okay? So, we're going to say that, so this is going to be, we'll start with the first one, so it's going to be 16, of course, 0 0.3 minus 14.2, and we got 2.1 uh, centimeters, centimeters, so which is just 2.1 divided by divided by 100, we get we're going to get this is just the same as 0 0.021 meters. Very important. Then we we get to x1 final equal to. So this is going to be okay. Let's let's name this one x1 final. X1 final. Then we name this one x2 final because it's the biggest. Okay. So this one is going to be. Uh, we're going to have 17.8 minus 14.2. Okay, so 17.8 minus 14.2 divided by 100. I'm sure you know what to do there. We're going to get 0 0.036 meters. Okay, from here we can replace. So this is just the same as 1 over 2, 180. Okay, so from here, this is going to be, this is 0 0.036 to the power 2 minus 0 0.021 to the power 2. So from here, we're going to have 0 0.5180 
then this is going to be okay so this is going to be same answer to the power 2 it's going to be 0 0.00 one two nine six minus this is zero point zero two one to the power two is going to be zero point zero zero four four one like that minus zero point zero zero one then two nine six then multiplied by one eighty multiplied by 0 0.5 and that is how you get your final answer I'm sure you're able to see my answer that is 0 0.0769 so the 6 is going to be rounded off and it will be 0 0.0767 0 .07 joules that's how you calculate for the for this one but please okay so this is what they wanted us to do they wanted us to prove this one okay so for this particular question that is how you go about it it's it's very simple all you have to do is simply to count to, to subtract the first distance from this the second distance from this okay because this is your initial distance so you consider that in mind okay so after having done this let's see what follows next okay so the the next question the next question someone might ask me a question like why did we change we take it to 180 it's because if we don't take it to 180 in its standard uh, units it won't be in joules it will change even here so to make it to make the units even simpler that just in standard energy uh, units which are just make sure that you put everything in order like I have done that there Determine the work done by the force work done by the force is just Okay, so the work done By the force Is just the elastic Potential energy minus Sorry minus the gravitational potential energy so this is just the same as this is just 0 0.077 joules minus this is 0 .0, 0 0.0 7 joules what is the answer let me try to do please the answer is should not be negative I was doing everything directly that's why it gave me a negative answer don't find a negative answer here all right let's see what we get we get 0 0.02 joules so that should be the answer for this particular question so guys if you find this video interesting and helpful don't forget to leave a comment and don't forget to share so that we may increase our family on this particular channel so don't forget to subscribe and share i love you so much shalom